Hey guys, just wanted to do another really quick video. I'm, I'm kind of liking this video style because it's it's pretty easy for me to make and I have to do little to no editing uh, to do these videos. Um, so if you guys enjoy this, make sure you leave a comment below because I really enjoy doing this type of video and I'm down to keep doing some. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about um, just kind of a reflection that I had the other day. Um, so here's the story. So I was playing Zack against Aurelian Soul one night, and uh, I, I did this because my, my champ pool is kind of um, play a little bit of Xerath, play a little bit of Belveth, I play some Maokai, I play Zack, I play Orn mid. So these, these are all five the five main champions I play in mid lane right now, and out of these five picks, pretty much the only things I liked at the time playing against Aurelian Soul were Belveth, and Zack. I didn't really want, I, I, I felt like Xerath shouldn't be something that should win against Aurelian Soul because Aurelian Soul uh, could just have the power to scale and uh, pretty much run the whole game. Um, sometimes I like picking Maokai against it for a similar reason as I like picking Zack against it uh, because he has a lot of CC, but he definitely doesn't have as much long range engage potential as Zack does. So at the time, um, you know, I, I like picking Belveth against Aurelian Soul, but in this instance, our team didn't really have much magic damage. Um, so I, I wanted to pick Zack because Zack was generally something that I picked when our team is lacking AP. But the problem with Zack is um, that matchup, while it is favored for Zack, let me go back here. So this is Aurelian Soul against Zack. And obviously, you know, there's, there's two problems with this. Um, the main one being that there's only tw 27 matches um, played according to you.gg Aurelian Soul versus Zack and it is a favored matchup for Zack but you have to think about most of the people who play Zack mid are one tricks and they're going to know a lot more about the character than someone like me who's just kind of I, I pick Zack mid up because I think he's really fun I like playing off meta picks and he's just really cool it's just it's nice to be able to play a tank mid because when your top laner doesn't pick a tank then you know, you're kind of screwed if you don't pick a front line. So I, I like playing Zach mid. But the problem with this matchup is it's actually very difficult to play. So although the win rate is favored, you pretty much have to be playing um, at your prime to be able to win this matchup. And the problem was that was the last game I played that night. I had already played a lot of games. I just had just gotten done streaming. Um, and it, it's a very difficult matchup. And I didn't play it very well, and I ended up losing the game. So I was thinking about, like, I was looking at my champ pool, and I was thinking, is there a gap in my champion pool um, that I need to address? And I, I really wanted to keep my champion pool to these five, at least for this split, because I, I really want to hit diamond this season. So I was thinking, man, do I need to do, like, an entire champion pool, like, swap out? Like, what do I need to do? And... One thing I didn't even think about doing was um, looking at the win rates of some of my other champions. So I was thinking about Xerath because Xerath is um, a very good champion. He's very consistent to play and he's pretty much blind pickable in any situation because of how long range he is. And, uh, oh, I was going to say that um, Belveth is definitely the champion I want to pick most of the time because I'm, I'm most efficient with her right now. I just... I because I main her and just I have over 200 games played this season on Belveth mid. But um, the other problem with Belveth mid against Aurelian Soul is um, there's one very big weakness, which is um, when you get your enhanced true form, if you ever lane against Aurelian Soul, he's going to get 100 stacks because when you spawn those little minions and he puts his little black hole down, um, he's going to get stacks from each one of the minions and you spawn one of the minions every time you kill or, or every time an enemy minion dies nearby you or any time one of your minions dies nearby you so he just ends up getting a ton of souls and it's not a fun time so you end up having to roam when you get the enhanced true form but that's a topic for another time um i didn't want to pick at that game because uh we already had a lot of ad and i wanted to pick some ability power damage um so i actually looked it up and i was like oh Xerath beats Aurelian Soul, and there's no way it's nearly as hard to play as like playing tanks against Aurelian Soul. And 
The funny thing is it's it's even better at win rate. So Rallying Soul only has a 47% win rate against Xerath, whereas uh, I think over here is like a 48% win rate against Zack. Yeah. So it's a better matchup and it's easier to play. Um, so there's kind of things to think about. This is a exercise that I think is really important. And one of the main reason, reasons I wanted to talk about this was a lot of people... Uh, when they talk about what to do after a loss, they immediately go to VOD reviewing. Like, you need a VOD review. But there's a lot of people that don't really like VOD reviewing, and I think it's important, don't get me wrong, but it's something that takes a lot of time, and not everyone plays um, games like this and has that much time to VOD review all the time. Or they might not even know how to VOD review, which, you know, I could talk about in a future video. But I think a really nice, easy thing to do after you lose in league is to just look at your champion pool, you know, look at what your champion pool does and maybe even just look up the ma some matches. All, all I did was, you know, this was the next morning. I kind of looked it up cause I was curious. I was like, there's no way Xerath beats Aurelian soul. Right. And uh, I was wrong. Uh, Xerath does beat Aurelian soul according to the statistics. So, you know, just something that to think about sometimes and, it wasn't something that I was aware of at the time, and I'm always open to learning things like that. Um, and I learned something new through doing that. And it only took me 10 minutes like after the game to kind of look at that. So just thought I would uh, throw that out there. Uh, leave a comment below if you found this helpful or uh, if you've had any situations like this before where you thought that one of your champs in your champ pool got completely countered by something. But in reality, it was the other way around. So. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.